Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make this wonderful bookcase. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps our channel to grow. And let me show you how I got this done. I went to Home Depot and got Cedar to make this bookshelf as cheap as possible. I've seen similar shelves like this on uh, Etsy for around $600 which I think is ridiculous. If you have the tools at home, I highly recommend that you try to do it yourself. I just needed some three by twos and a few boards. And since this project is custom made, there's a lot of room for flexibility. I use my planner to give the bookshelf a professional look. Uh, it looks really good after a few passes. If you don't have a planer, you will have to do some sanding, which I recommend because it will make it look way better. I'll also use my routing table for this project. I really like how the edges of the bookshelf looks like after a few passes and also like i said before it gives a professional look one thing that i found about this project is that some of the wood has uh, cracks or they have holes and you have to use a wood filler so i found this one at home depot right over here and uh, it does look pretty neat because you can just fill it right over here where the crack is you can use a, another piece of wood a small piece of wood like this and just like let it dry according to the instructions it needs to dry for at least 72 hours well 36 hours but because it's cold today i'm just gonna let it sit for 72 hours The best trick I found to attach both pieces together is by drilling a pilot hole and then using the screw. Once again, once you attach both pieces together, make sure that you sand uh, the edges of it so it can have a professional look. One thing that I recommend is to use a primer when you're using wood like this because this wood is, has never been painted before. So once you use the primer, it will give the conditions to absorb the coat of painting that you want to use. Hey, it says you're already here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. I got the brackets at Home Depot. Uh, they were fairly cheap. 
also as you can see that i'm putting them together measuring it because they both pieces are square and they are the same size all i had to do was put it one next to the other one and make sure that they uh, are level because the last thing i wanted to do is to have a, an unlevel bookshelf So as you can see, the bookshelf is wobbling, but we are going to fix that. I am going to put a metal brace that is going to give it additional support and it's going to stop that. I also got it at Home Depot and I got it painted black because I wanted to make sure that it looked and match like the bookshelf. guys uh, there you have it i make this bookshelf under a hundred dollars i had a lot of fun please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps our channel to grow and i will see you next time for the next project have a good day